My name is Barbara Pearce. I used to be a professional teacher. Now I'm a professional hospital patient, thanks to a drunk and drug driver. I was rescued from a burning car by two passers-by and two police officers. If they hadn't have rescued me, I would have burned to death. The whole thing was filmed by a police video camera. This is it. I remember screaming over and over again for somebody to pull me out of the car. I thought I was going to die there. I nearly did. This is a picture of the two cars after the crash. The car on the left is mine. I survived. The car on the right had two men in it, aged 21 and 24. They both died. They were crushed against the dashboard by the weight of wood and other things in the back of the car. Their necks were broken. The driver was two and a half times over the drink drive limit. They both had so much cocaine in their blood, it went off the scale. They also had traces of cannabis and ecstasy. Neither of them were wearing seat belts. I had what's called full penetrative burns. That means the flesh is burnt off completely, leaving the bone exposed. Some of my toes were burnt off completely and I lost so much flesh from my lower legs that the doctors had to transfer muscles from my stomach onto my legs. Even one of the paramedics threw up when he saw my legs hanging off at the scene of the crash. I fractured every bone from the pelvis down. For eight months, I had to wear one of these around my leg. Looks like some sort of torture device, doesn't it? Felt like one too. Some people think it's boring to remain sober and drive safely. Think how boring it is never being able to walk and move around properly. And I'm one of the lucky ones. Now look me in the eye and tell me that you'll never drink or take drugs and drive. <laughs>